fight for something. James Blonde here with MMOS.com. I am standing here with Jeffrey Stiefel. Jeffrey with Infinite Crisis. They've got a huge booth here at PAX. It's very surprising. You had some tournaments going on yesterday. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. We got a bunch of stuff going on this weekend. So first of all, we have our pro tournament. So a $25,000 tournament. Uh, teams from all over the world. We had a team here from uh, England, and they basically played in a ladder tournament. We actually had our finals yesterday. Yeah, how did that go? Uh, it went great. It was awesome finals, you know, depending on who, from your perspective, whether it went great or not. But certainly from uh, KGO's perspective, it went great. They ended up winning, beating Complexity in the finals. You're even having an amateur tournament, or you had that yesterday, right? Yeah, no, it's still going on today. Oh, so, it's still going on? Okay. Yep, so we have the pro tournament, it's a $25,000 purse, then we've got an amateur tournament. We actually had more people sign up as teams than we had slots for, so that was cool. Uh, they've been playing uh, yesterday and today, and then today we'll have the finals for the amateur tournament. And then we've also got a whole bunch of stations here. we got people just coming in and playing all day long. So when it, when I think uh, when I think Infinite Crisis, when I see other people think Infinite Crisis, I think esports, and I I think that's the idea, right? So, what is the direction you're trying to go with esports? Uh, well, we've taken esports seriously from the very very beginning, right? This is about you know a very aggressive kind of competitive experience for the players, but also for people that are watching. So we started in the beginning making sure that we had pro players involved in what we were doing. We actually brought teams in early on, actually in closed beta when we were really kind of rough just to see you know, what they thought of what we were doing, because who better to tell us kind of we're heading in the right direction. So we've been doing a lot of work with them, and we've done a lot of things actually in the game to you know, prepare for a full professional sports season, which we're going to start hopefully sometime later in the year. Uh, we're in our uh, open beta now. We're going to be continually doing tournaments like we're doing here, uh, both here and overseas. But it has everything to do with uh, you know, how it cools it to watch. So even the way that we've done the art in the game, the way that we're treating the DC characters, uh, the way that we have these sort of massively uh, giant events that occur in the game, some of that is designed to make it really cool to watch. A lot of fun stuff happening on screen. So I noticed there's quite a bit that goes into each character in terms of uh, you release videos where uh, you know they you know you've got different voice actors for different into it. maybe Batman's not the same voice actor for the other Batman you've got completely different personalities to each one of them the lore is really deep in there how do you go about setting up a a, a champion based on uh, their background. Well, we, it's been a huge opportunity with DC. First of all, just the characters themselves, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, you know, everybody loves those characters. But there's uh, the 52 universes of the multiverse, and we kind of glommed onto that as an opportunity, and it ended up being this is just opening up this world of possibilities for us. Infinite possibilities, if you will. So we have different versions of the characters. So for example, we have Batman, but we also have Batman from a Gotham by Gaslight. Or we have Batman from our Nightmare universe, so he's sort of a vampire. And what it allows us to do is kind of look at the characters. DC characters are so deep, they have lots of different levels to them. So Batman, for example, he's kind of like this dark, you know, almost violent vigilante on the one hand. He's also your gadget guy. He's also your detective. So we can sort of pull those pieces apart a little bit. And so Nightmare Batman is a vampire. He's sort of the ultimate expression of your violent vigilante, right, in the dark. Um, on the other hand, you've got Gotham by Gaslight Batman, who's totally the gadget guy, maybe a little detective in him, you know, all steampunk, totally feels like Batman, but that allows us to have different Batmen that you can play with different roles and different power sets. So I can be a protector and be, you know, far away from the fight, or I can be, you know, more of uh, a vampire right in the middle. Literally, his alt is biting you in the neck. So, you know, however your playstyle wants to be, you can still be Batman. And same for Superman and all the other characters. And on top of that, the really neat fundamental uh, feature there is, you know, you can be different Batman, but you can also be different skins of different Batman. So, I mean, with the Asylite Batman, you've got Renaissance Batman. Yep. Yep. Uh, Samurai Batman, I believe, yeah. is one of them. You yeah. got the Arkham skin yeah. for regular Batman. Uh, so that's awesome. Yeah, and it just goes on and on. And actually, we're seeing here at the show all kinds of people that are doing cosplay of some of those characters that we made. Um, so it's cool. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Um, so let's talk about. You, recently, you just released three champions all together. What was the What was the idea behind that? We had well, Aquaman. 
Green Arrow and uh, Mecha, Mecha Superman. Superman. That's yeah. right. That was the start of our open beta, so we really wanted to give uh, lots of new characters for people to play around with, you know, really come out big and strong. Three really diverse characters, Mecha Superman, who's from our sort of, obviously, Mecha World universe version of Superman that's essentially uh, all mecked out, right? Yeah. He's a big, huge, giant, tanky Superman with, you know, giant drills that he can put into the ground. Then we have Aquaman, who people have actually been asking for for a long time, and, you know, we're going to make Aquaman cool. Yeah, you better. He, he needs some help. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> for Aquaman. So if you play him in the game, you'll see he's really, really cool, very powerful. Uh, and then Green Arrow, who everybody loves playing. So that was that was a great opportunity for us, too. That's awesome. And then you recently uh, came out with Nightmare Superman, correct? He's a really interesting set. He's set up weird. I yeah. mean, like, he, what he uh, he possesses correct. some of the uh, characters that kill him, and then he has a chance to resurrect. Yeah. That's awesome. Explain that a little bit. Well, he's a protector, so his, okay. he's sort of a support character. He's a... Uh, He's Nightmare Universe guy, so he's actually from the Phantom Zone. So imagine a Superman that somehow was trapped in the Phantom Zone, got kind of messed up while he was in there, came out, and he's, as you said, able to actually possess someone, you know, resurrect them, bring them back. So, you know, what better heal than to uh, bring you back to life, right? Exactly, exactly. Well, you've got a huge present here at uh, PAX East. Everything looks great. The tournament seems like it's going uh, really well, and uh, there's it's packed full of people, and I see the cosplayers everywhere, and the game looks great. Thank you. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? Just if people are not already playing, they should go to infinitecrisis.com. It is absolutely free to play. They should come in, sign up, get in, start playing, um, and get involved with our community. We've got all kinds of people playing now. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What do you fight for? Play now for free at infinitecrisis.com.